What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great New Year's Eve. We are five hours and 14 minutes away from 2023. Oh, my God. It's a crazy. It's crazy that it's 2023. It seems like it was just yesterday that we were worried about Y2K, that the toasters were going to come alive and, you know, just take over the world and stuff. And here it is. This is 23 years later. Um, the Cowboys, I touched on this a little bit this morning, are being killed because they say, you know, uh, they're, they're not living up to expectations, you know, that they're inconsistent. They're 12 and four. In the NFL, 12 and four means something. You won some games. You beat the other team. But it's not good enough for people. Now, here's what's funny. Now, the chickens are kind of coming home to roost now. Last weekend... Let, let's get the tape up here. Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory. He's a little bit off of the center, top center right in here. This was after the game. This is the punch that happened. Okay? It's going to be boom. You see that? Bam. It wasn't really, I mean, you know, nobody was going to get hurt on that. But, but you know, it, it's not a good look for the NFL. You know, we're talking about after the game that you have that situation. Now, I want to remind you where everybody was about nine months ago when Jerry Jones said, you know what, to the $75 million contract, $75 million contract that Randy Gregory was going to get, they wanted to put in a, a clause a basically personal conduct clause that if you get suspended by the NFL, we can basically null and void your contract. And the Cowboys wanted to put that in there, you know, just in case um, something happened with Randy Gregory. His agent said, oh, hell no. And Jerry Jones ended up saying El Paso then. You know, we're done. We're, 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 we're good. And if you remember, we got killed for it. $75 million contract. Randy Gregory was fined, suspended a game, which was then turned into a $50,000 fine. But has since been placed on injured reserve. His season is over. Here's what he ended up doing this season. He ended up hurting his knee. He was coming off knee a knee injury last year in the offseason. And he ended up with 12 combined tackles, seven solos, and two sacks. I want to go back because the Cowboys seemingly are getting the last laugh. Because I keep trying to tell you guys that nobody thought the Cowboys would be where they are right now. Nobody thought the Cowboys would be where they are now. Now, they've kind of moved the, you know, the, the goalpost and basically said, well, it's Super Bowl or bus. But this was the cow herd um, nine months ago, the day after Randy Gregory uh, ended up signing with Denver. Let's listen in because this literally sounds like a funeral service for the Dallas Cowboys. Listen to it co-hosts doomsday podcast with ed werder i i have never felt the cowboys are poorly run i never have um i think they're competently run and have had a fairly keen eye on draft day the last several years but i gotta be honest weapons o-line pass rush all feel worse this morning i feel like matt they got caught flat-footed a little bit in this free agency period. That's my perspective from the outside. You got boots on the ground in Dallas. Does it feel like that to you a little? I, I think that's accurate. 
And what really got my attention was what happened. It was almost like I had gone on a spring break trip. It was almost like the Cowboys had gone on one too. the Randy Gregory situation was they can try to explain it away. It was a major embarrassment to the organization, Mm -hmm. the way it went down. And with the backdrop of the family drama, the rich Dalrymple voyeurism charges, allegations, as well as an embarrassing story for Jerry that uh, he apparently has a child that no one's known about um, out there and has maybe been making some payments, but had not much of a relationship with, if any. When you weigh everything that's going on, I, I think it made the Cowboys look even worse. And one of the things I think when you think they have competent and I I would agree with you up to a certain extent. I think some of these drafts have been OK. But one of the reasons Jerry loves being on so much and loves being at the combine mm-hmm. that sometimes I think we get confused by his accessibility is is like. It equates to some level of competence, and I don't know if that's always correct. And I will say the one to me now, Jerry has to be embarrassed about all this other stuff out there. But I think some of the negative stuff that happened with the on the field free agency type stuff falls on Stephen. And I think Stephen is going to have to answer for some of these things. And, He's and right gonna have now, to answer. when you look at what everybody else is doing, and some of these Cowboys, by the way, you said the O-line, they've ended up on the Miami Dolphins O-line. Hmm. You look at what some of the other teams have done, and the Cowboys don't seem to be keeping up. So I think the criticism is, is, uh, is, the criticism is, accurate, is accurate, and, accurate and necessary. You know, the Brian Schottenheimer employment as special consultant, it feels kind of – Desperate. I mean, honestly, from the outside, I'm like, listen, man, they've had a rough couple months. Schottenheimer was just run out of Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I, I Maybe it's the Zeke contract. The league is becoming a pass rush and weapons league. I, I look at Dallas today, and to me, they're not a top 15 team in the league. I mean, They're not a top 15 head. team. Listen Rams, to them. Bucks in the NFC. Bills. Baltimore, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. I think today, Denver, <laughs> Chargers, Raiders, San Francisco. I mean, I start adding oh these teams God. up. Am I too negative? I, I feel like they've taken oh. a major step back. Oh, shit. I was really hoping you would just name all the players from those rosters. <laughs> I'm really mesmerized by your ability to do that. But I, the only place I think you're maybe being a bit too negative, and I don't really have any problem with I love being this. negative about the Cowboys, but is that they really only lost one member of the defense. I mean, we can, we can debate the Amari Cooper thing and how much of a loss that was. Mm-hmm. But on defense, Randy Gregory is gone. He had six sacks last season, and he looked really good. And that is an embarrassment, what happened. But that embarrassment probably shouldn't overshadow the fact that they bring DeMarcus Lawrence back. We'll see what Fowler brings. Um, He's been a decent pass rusher. They brought all their safeties back, and they've brought their pretty much the rest of the defensive line and linebackers. So I, I think. All right, I'll leave it right there. So, Randy Gregory, two sacks. Players that have two or more sacks for the Cowboys right now. Donovan Wilson's got five. Uh, J. Ron Curse has got two. Micah Parsons has 13. D. Law's got six. Uh, Osa and Digazua's got three. Dante Fowler has six. Dorrance Armstrong has eight. Sam Williams has three. And, yeah. So, the Cowboys, you heard him. You heard Colin Cowherd. I don't think they're a top 15 team. I think about the Rams. I think about Denver. I think about the Raiders. I think about Tampa Bay. I think about all these teams that he named. And said the Cowboys were ass. So, I ask you. If your expectations going into the season were there's 15 teams that are better, 
then how can you say they're a disappointment at 12 and 4? How can you say that they're a disappointment? This is some bullshit. And so when these guys come around and they tell you they're not ready for the playoffs, they're not a good team. Remember, these guys are the guys that said we wouldn't even make the playoffs. So, there you go. I'm just going to leave that right here. And you feel free to do whatever you want with it. And I have to be one of those guys that literally said, I don't know what we're doing at free agency. But the thing I forgot is... This team has never been built by free agents. And, you know, for every A.J. Brown out there, there's 50 Russell Wilson free agent signings. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you have a wonderful new year. Peace.